Welcome to the Department of Commerce Electronic Certificate of Origin System. In this video, I will be showing users how to apply a digital signature on their Certificate of Origin. If you wish to know more about how to apply for a Certificate of Origin, go ahead and watch the previous video in this series titled Certificate of Origin. For clarity, I will quickly explain the process of application. First, within your dashboard, go ahead and click on Apply COO or Apply CO for Spices tile if you're applying for Spices based on ISFTA, PSFTA, or SAFTA. Once inside the tile, click on the Apply New Application button and submit all the relevant details and supporting documentation. After submitting the application, the Department of Commerce will review your application, and if your documents are approved, you will be prompted through the system to pay for your certificate. Once you have successfully paid, the status of your certificate will be changed to pending signature, at which point you will be able to sign the certificate by clicking on the pen icon which appears in the action column. Once this pop-up appears, you must select your authorized person from the drop-down list. This will showcase the authorized person that you have added during your company registration. Now, if this is the first time you're adding a digital signature to your certificate, using this particular authorized person, we will be asking for you to re-verify their information. So please go ahead and upload the relevant identification documents for the authorized person. And afterwards, you will be able to upload the digital signature of this particular authorized person. The system is requesting this one-time re-upload of a signature as there is a standard to be followed when creating and uploading a digital signature, which I will explain to you now. The Department of Commerce expects all exporters to place their company seal along with the signature of the authorized person when uploading the digital signature. As such, the easiest way of collecting a signature is to place your company seal along with the signature of your authorized person on a piece of paper and then taking a photo of it. To provide you an example, your photo will look something like this. And depending on the type of company seal that you may have, your image may even look something like this. Now, since I have used a real company seal for this demonstration, I have gone ahead and removed any sensitive information that is present, which is why there are black boxes hiding the company information. Now, to get started, these two images first needs to be edited in order to fit the expected size format of the digital signature images, which is around 2.5 inches in width and around 1.2 inches in height. As such, to get started, I will go ahead and crop this image. It is always a good idea to not leave any outside space and only take the signature area. Once that is cropped, I will go ahead and save this image. And afterwards, we now need to remove this brownish white background that is placed within our signature. In order to do so, go to your web browser and type in the URL remove.bg. This will direct you to an online tool which allows you to remove backgrounds from your images. To get started, click the upload image and select your signature file. Now, as you can see, once it is uploaded, it will automatically remove the background of your image. Once the removal process is complete, hit the download button. An image containing your signature with the background removed will be downloaded to your computer. And now going back to the electronic system, I will upload the signature that I just removed a background from. Once I upload, I can click the preview button to view what my signature may look like.
If it is not up to my liking, I can go back and delete the signature and upload a corrected image. So now I will go ahead and upload the second signature following the same steps as before. First I will open up the image and crop it to focus on the signature and the company seal. Once that is cropped, I will go ahead and save this image. Then I will upload the saved image to the site remove.bg and get my background removed. Now I will download that image and go back to the electronic system and upload the background removed image. Once again, I will hit preview to confirm what my certificate may look like. Once it is up to my satisfaction, I will go ahead and hit select. And now a verification code will be sent as a text message to the mobile number of the authorized person, which you must now enter. After entering the verification code, you are provided with an option to once again preview what your signature may look like. If you are satisfied with the result, go ahead and hit submit. And now clicking on the original copy of that certificate, you can see the signature that was placed. At this point, your certificate has been sent to the Department of Commerce for the placement of their signature in the relevant box. Once the Department of Commerce places their signature, you will receive an email confirming that your certificate has been successfully issued. And now going back to the dashboard, I will now show you how to add additional authorized people into your account, as many companies have more than one person who signs certificates of origin. In order to do so, go to My Profile by clicking on the top right button. Scrolling down, click on Add Person. Through this pop-up, you will be able to add any additional contact and authorized personnel within your company. Clicking on the Authorized Person bubble, you will need to fill the details of your authorized person. In here, add the full name, designation, select the nationality, and select the identification document type. Type in the identification document number, email address, mobile number, and landline number. Now please ensure the correctness of the mobile number as this will be used to send the verification code as a text message. And now go ahead and upload the relevant identification documents. In this case, since I have selected NIC as my identification document, I will proceed to upload the NIC front and the NIC back image. And I will then upload the digital signature. Follow the same steps as before and use the preview button to make sure that the uploaded signature is up to your expectations. If not, follow the previous steps and make sure to crop the image so that only the signature and seal are in the image and use the online tool to remove the white background. Once you hit submit, your authorized person will be subjected to the Department of Commerce approval, at which point they will appear in the authorized person dropdown for signature placement. This concludes the video for the placement of a digital signature. Thank you for watching.